So I had a limb break on one of these giant fir trees here in my yard and I brought it down with a rope. It's about six to seven inches in diameter. So what I did is I cut off a piece down here and I took it into the shop and I put it on the chop saw and cut a uh, three-eighths of an inch thick slice. And here is this slice. One side I sanded up to 120 grit and put a coat of oil on it. And the other side, I polished it with all my grits. And as you can see, I went through successive grits. I went from a low grit all the way up to a higher grit. I started off at about 120, then 220, 320. Those were all abrasives. And then I moved to the polishing bits. I, I picked up the Abronet and I did a 600 and a 1000. And then after that, I went to the polishing uh, discs that I have, and I started at 1,200, 1,500, 2,400, 3,600, all the way up to 8,000 grit. And what I'm trying to do here is clearly delineate each of these individual rings in this limb, which is hard to do. By the way, to get this stabilized, before I did all this, I microwaved this. I microwaved it for three or four minutes, about 30 seconds at a time, let it cool, 30 seconds, let it cool. I got a tiny little crack in here, but it's very difficult to take a disc of wood and get it dry enough so that the shrinkage doesn't cause it to split to pieces. And then only time will tell. But at this point, I can clearly see how many years it is from the beginning of this limb to the current date. And if I start at the current date, I'm going to get a microscope out and really start looking at it. But it'll be interesting to see how many years there are. I think I'm going to count from the outside widest point where the rings are a little bit wider and go all the way to the center because I want to know how old is this limb? And then how does that associate itself with the tree. Is the limb as old as the tree? It was up there quite a ways, so I know that during the early years of developing, developing probably the first 15 or 20 years, it was a small tree, and then it started developing a bigger limb up high. But it'll give you an interesting evaluation for a lot of things. It's called dendrochronology. That's the study of tree rings, and you can read a lot into these rings. You can read weather patterns. You can see drought periods. You can see, you know, periods of heavy rain and, you know, things that have happened. What I find really interesting is the, is the coloration changes all the way through. Some are, are darker than others. Some of them are, are much lighter than others. But what you've got here is the way you read it is you've got the, the growth period and then the hardening off. So you just count the darkness of the rings. You don't count dark light, dark light. So it's, it's you have to go in really, really close. And if I'm looking super close, it's like the first oh, quarter of an inch or so, looks like it has about 10 years of rings on it. So it'll be interesting. Let me, let me pull out my microscope. I think I'll have to draw a line on here and start counting backwards. It'd be really interesting to look at a, a farmer's almanac or at least a, a local weather history and read the periods of drought and the periods of rain and see what it was like, see how far back it goes. Clearly in here, there was a period of drought and then here there was a lot of rain and it slowed down then there was a lot of rain. And then out near the end, it looks like the last, I don't know, 10 years or so, for drought. Well, we know we're in a drought, so that's clear. But what I find equally interesting is all the way through here, there's a, a, a real consistency in a, for a long time. Then all of a sudden, there's a drought period. So I'm real curious to see where that drought period comes up on the timeline and then do a cross-reference. Well, as it turned out, the microscope was magnified too much and I wasn't able to count the rings but I did get a reasonably strong magnifying glass and I was able to count the rings from 
the edge to the center from more than one location on that piece. And what that told me was there was 96 years of growth on just that small six inch piece of limb wood. So I'm gonna guess that the tree was maybe 120 to 130 years old. Um, that's a rough guesstimate. But, but the point of all this isn't so much about look at the rings, look at how cool it is. It's, it's more about um, look at trees with a little bit of a different attitude. You know, something as small and simple as that one limb and exactly how old it is makes you stop and wonder about the age of the rest of the forest, the age of the trees, but, but also um, not taking the trees for granted. You know, it, it's not just wood. It is living tissue that evolves over time, long time. And in many cases, the stories that are deep within the rings of a piece of wood will tell us a lot about our history, a lot about the climate, a lot about what's happened, and uh, a lot about us. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate all the comments. I appreciate the, the likes and the, uh, the people that subscribe to my channel. And, and I, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of ring technology. <laughs>